Life has always been a struggle for me. Uh, ever since I was a little girl, I can always remember feeling very afraid, very hopeless, and very lonely. And starting at a young age, I tried everything I could to try to change those feelings. I tried everything that people had to offer, everything available to me. Um, and alcohol took a hold of me at a very young age and it spiraled out of control very, very quickly. A couple years ago, I was in a very dark place. I had turned my back on my family and everyone who loved and cared about me and even my own children. One night, the pain got so bad that I got on my knees and I cried out to God and begged Him to save my life and to open one more door for me. And I promised Him that if He would open a door that I would go through it and I would keep going through it. I honestly didn't think that he would hear my prayer, let alone answer it, but he did. He answered it very quickly, and I was able to go to a detox in Virginia. And then after that, he opened another door, and I was able to come down here to Florida for continued treatment. So I came to Florida um, all alone, very scared. Um, I didn't. Ha I had the clothes on my back. I had, you know, no money, no job, no vehicle. I had nothing, but I kept remembering the promise that, that I made to God to keep going through the doors that He opened. And a friend of mine invited me to a Bible study on Monday night here at Family Church with Kim Wells, and I went, and I was very confused. I didn't understand a lot of the material that was being taught to me, but I know now that God was working on my heart even though I didn't understand at the time. I kept showing up. I kept praying. I made friends very quickly. Kim Wells invited me out to dinner after one of the Bible studies one night and she showed me the three circles and she asked me where I thought I stood with that and I said that that's an easy question. I am the squiggly lines. I just felt that the things that I had done in the past were too bad for, for God to forgive me or love me and Kim explained to me that Jesus died on the cross uh, so I didn't have to live in shame anymore and that His grace is available to everyone, even, even a sinner like me. So I uh, publicly declared my faith in Jesus Christ at the leadership rally in August here at Family Church. It was terrifying. There was uh, so many people out there. It was very much out of my comfort zone, not the kind of thing that I usually do. But then again, God has me doing things that are not in my comfort zone today, and that's okay. Since then, I've just jumped in head first and got involved in anything I could here at the church. I still go to the Monday night Bible study, um, Kim's class. I come to church every Sunday faithfully. I do other groups if my schedule allows me, and uh, I help Kim lead the First Impressions team. Uh, so that she can attend service. Um, God gives me the courage today to stand up in front of people and share my experience and face my fears instead of living in bondage to them like I did in the past. Don't get me wrong, life can still be a, a struggle today. Sobriety isn't always easy. There are a lot of challenges. There's um, a lot of frustration dealing with picking up the pieces of my past, that the bad choices that I had made. I'm still trying to build a relationship with my children. I keep praying though, and I keep showing up. My, my friends and family here at, here at the church pray with me and they support me. And I've seen the power of God through prayers. And um, I know that it works. And that's why, why I keep doing it. If God's grace is available to somebody as broken as me, it, it's available to anyone. It, it can fix anyone. My name is Jessica and this is my story.